All right, the voting for the primary elections underway in South Dakota. Some Republican lawmakers raising concerns about flyer campaign going on in the legislative districts across the state. Those flyers are being sent out at the request of Senate President Pro Tem Lee Schoenbeck, who says he's interested in preventing certain lawmakers from returning to peer. Our Austin Goss spoke to Schoenbeck and those on the receiving ends of those flyers and has our story from Pierre. Republican infighting here in Pierre has never been a secret, but heading into this year's primary election, it's as prevalent as ever. I think we get better representation if the voters out there know something about the candidates. That's why Senator Lee Schoenbeck, behind his pack, South Dakota Strong, is taking aim at a number of Republican lawmakers. Voters in their districts are receiving flyers, accusing them of being part of the, quote, swamp and saying they're in favor of raising taxes. Tony Randolph of Rapid City is one of the lawmakers targeted by the campaign. He says the ads are incredibly disingenuous. The desire is to have more control of the legislature. I would say that's probably the biggest agenda is to have more control. Tom Pischke of Del Rapids is another. He's looking to make the jump from the House to the Senate. Not only does he believe the ads are false, but he points to several tax cuts that Schoenbeck and the Senate opposed as a whole. Just this past legislative session, Schoenbeck helped kill efforts to reduce the sales tax by a half a percent and to remove the tax from groceries. But this mailer focuses in on HB 1053, a measure that would have allowed counties to raise sales taxes by half of a percent. I would say that the liberal leader of the Senate, Lee Schoenbeck, uh, is really worried about losing his power over the whole entire Senate. And so he knows that I'm somebody that he can't control. He's no, he knows that I'm someone that's not going to follow in his liberal ways. And so he's worried about me getting elected and being, filling that seat in District 25. The disagreement is just the latest example of infighting between more moderate and conservative Republicans in South Dakota, one that both sides agree is incredibly consequential this election cycle. And I think public officials have a duty to get out there. When you have these strange people running for office, I think public officials have a duty to get out there. You can't be sitting back here complaining if somebody like a Pishke, who's as strange as they come, gets elected to the legislature, if you didn't do anything to tell his voters about him. Early voting has already started across South Dakota, and the final day to vote in the primary election will be on June 7th. In Pierre, I'm Austin Goss.